New developments tonight, charges of misconduct filed against two former UW Oshkosh officials. It's in connection to several building projects on campus, and it could land them behind bars. NBC 26's Shane Gustafson is live in Oshkosh tonight with the very latest. Shane. Yeah, John and Stacey, there isn't much talk of these charges here on the UW Oshkosh campus, but in a statement, the chancellor did say that the school will continue to move forward with integrity even after these two men had charges filed against them. Now, according to a criminal complaint, former Chancellor Richard Wells and former Vice Chancellor Tom Sonnelletter promised to repay banks any amount of money the Oshkosh Foundation couldn't, which is against the law since it extends the state's credit to a private person. UW Systems said the two men paid about $11 million to banks illegally, but Wells says the system knew what he was doing and says he, nobody stopped him from doing that. Now, the UW Oshkosh Foundation did declare bankruptcy after falling $14.5 million in debt. They say a lot of that from spending by these two men. We're keeping you connected tonight live in Oshkosh. Shane Gustafson, NBC 26.